We were on a freeway. Uh, we just landed at Los Angeles International Airport. Uh, we were going to see my dad, uh, who is elderly and assisted living uh, home out in Santa Clarita. And we were driving on an LA freeway from the airport to uh, a valley or two out. And all of a sudden, every phone in the car went off, my wife's and our son's and mine. Uh, the email started lighting up in my box, uh, and it was a call from Secretary Gates. So here we are on the freeway, uh, and I'm taking this extraordinarily important call. Uh, the coverage was a little bit spotty. We turned into a strip mall parking lot, and I sat there uh, and tried to have a conversation with him and to have some discussion about uh, you know, how I saw the role of a strategic leader, uh, what the nature of the advice I would give uh, over time would be, and so forth. Uh, the truth was he just wanted to get to yes, uh, which I'd said right away, um, and he was uh, ready, in fact, to move on at that moment. So we had a brief conversation. Uh, I said it would be an extraordinary honor to indeed be nominated to be the commander of the multinational force in Iraq and to, to lead what was becoming known as the surge. Um, and that was about it in the end, uh, although I'd I'd sought to have a little bit more in-depth conversation, uh, but that was something we had to save for later. Well, that was a tough day, frankly. I went to the White House for a meeting. It was the monthly meeting on Afghanistan and Pakistan, which I attended as the commander of U.S. Central Command. Uh, and this was one I was in Washington to attend. Uh, and I went to the White House for a meeting. I was waiting around. Uh, I wasn't clear at that time that uh, General McChrystal had uh, submitted his resignation and the president had accepted it. Uh, but someone stuck his head in the door of the room where I was sitting and waiting to go into the Situation Room for the meeting and said, anybody seen Petraeus? And I said, yeah, right here. And he said, well, they want you up in the Oval. And so I went up. Uh, I was entering the Oval Office as the whole national security team was coming out. A lot of them averting their glances from me, frankly, and I went in and sat down uh, alone with the president. A uh, photograph uh, was taken and he left, and the president started out by saying, with no small talk, uh, I am asking you, as your president and commander-in-chief, uh, to take the position in Afghanistan and to become the commander of the International Security Assistance Force. Uh, and my response, again, was, uh, of course, the, answer, the only answer to a question like that has to be yes. I did again seek to, to discuss, you know, what make sure he knew who he was getting, um, how I saw uh, the responsibilities of a commander uh, of a combat theater like that, Iraq or Afghanistan, um, and the, the basis for advice and recommendations that I would provide. Um, again, in, in truth, what the instinct, and I think understandably, what someone who's asked that question wants is yes, and then let's get on with it. And I could see his mind was probably already on the Rose Garden speech or whatever else it was he had to attend to. Um, and so I, having said yes, uh, went back down to the Situation Room. Uh, the rest of the national security team was waiting there. Um, I said that, you know, I was, I'd accepted the nomination to be the COM ISAF, and uh, then we started talking practical details, frankly. As you may recall, the confirmation process for that was remarkably swift, I think the fastest in history. I believe that was a Thursday, uh, late Thursday morning. The announcement was made uh, early Thursday afternoon in the Rose Garden. Um, we started a flurry of activity in Washington. I flew on Friday up to my hometown, there were a couple of commitments that I'd made that I felt I really should carry through with and, and, and do. One was to the uh, Purple Heart uh, organization that is located uh, right near my hometown. Uh, the other was to make the, the speech at the graduation ceremony of my high school 40 years after I'd graduated. I did that. We canceled everything else after that, got, got on the plane, flew back to Tampa got in early Saturday morning, uh, and I was back in Washington on Monday uh, meeting uh, senators and in preparation for the Senate Armed Services Committee hearing associated with any 
confirmation of a, of an, a, point, uh, a nomination by the president. Um, and that carried through, I think the hearing was on Wednesday. <clears throat> we were done with that. I flew back to Tampa Wednesday. I think I was confirmed on Thursday and, and headed to Afghanistan on Thursday evening. 